ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಯಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುವೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಥಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶ್ವಸ್ವಚ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ತೋಯಿ ನಮೋ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಜ ಇವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ್ವಣ್ಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವಧರ್ಷಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಮಾಮುಖಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬುದಾಥು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದೃಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ದರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तावत ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पद भी तावत न तिक्ति भवे तावच्चापि विशृंखलतमय तेन लोक वेद स्थिति तावत्शस्त्र विदित कल कलो नना बहिर्वत्मसु श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज प्रियजन जावत न दिग्गचर तावत ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पद भी तावत न तिक्ति भवे तावच्चापि विशृंखलतमय तेन लोक वेद स्थिति तावत्शस्त्र विदित कल कल नना बहिर्वत्मसु श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज प्रियजन जावद न दिग्गचर गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन दोज होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन वी आर डूइंग इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड that in this material world that if we are not at all provisioned in this you don't get engaged in that because if you will get engaged in that then definitely you will get lost in this that you will definitely get lost in this there is no other pathway open for you where to go in this uh, material uh, kind of wishes or you will not get engaged in that just be sure about this that this body you will just be uh, this body material body you have to leave this kind of wish you just need to understand by just understanding this wish that actual wish in this wish you will not get engaged If whatever uh, uh, consciousness you are getting for this material things you just need to remove that and all those material people they have false ego inside them different different kind of false ego these people that upadesh amrit we are actually uh, doing that and uh, small which are we will be just doing that that shila roop goswami path what kind of vichar he has told in that that different different kind of diseases we have inside our heart and all kind of diseases we just need to pluck that out uh, from the root otherwise nothing will happen in our bhajan life in our life there is no kind of uh, uh, no kind of disadvantage if we are feeling that so much deep we have to go in inside krishna bhajan that is called krishna bhajan so much seriously we just need to go inside the Uh, wish I what kind of diseases, different different kind of diseases. Slowly, steadily, we just need to pick up and just destroy that from the root. Um, up till that point, uh, after that only Krishna Bhajan will be possible. That kind of uh, efforts we will be doing to do Krishna Bhajan from the previous days. Lot of atyahar prayas, cha prajal pani amagra. All actually I was discussing. It is very much strange and surprised to speak all this. So much actually in depth analysis and discussion is going on in this. Prabhupad used to speak. that in this material world all those people in this material world each and every person has a different kind of disease their uh, each and every disease is not at all same for everyone for each and every person different different kinds of uh, uh, things they have inside their proper speaking that for them uh, for each and every person different different kind of treatment pro- procedure should be given to them so much uh, top most siddhan proper speaking to them so that you can understand what is the actual disease in order to detect that if that disease what is the actual disease inside them if we can cannot de- detect that then that actual treatment is not at all possible how treatment can be possible in that so prabhupad used to speak that all the people that each and every person having different kind of disease in them and for them that different different kind of treatment should be given so, but who will be giving them the treatment who will be giving them the time to treat that is the main question if the disease we will not be getting uh, understood we will not be diagnosing the actual disease what is that <coughs> what is the actual disease in a particular person we will not be getting det- it will not get detected then to cure or prevent that it is not at all possible at all and the all the and the, all the bonded jivas or the patients will not get uh, cured from that a particular disease the disease will not at all get from the root prabhupad actually you st- speaking that those who are just like a platform speaker working as platform speaker on this material 
world and they are just uh, in this whole material world just making money like a platform speaker speaking hari katha so called katha in front of all those material people they will definitely those all those material bonded jeevas of this material people what kind of diseases they have they are not will be unable or unfit to just remove all kind of diseases from them something can be done for them but the actual disease it is not at all possible to remove that for them proper speaking that from the last 40 years i am only i haven't for, for got even one person from the last 40 years i have not even gone for one person that kind of person i am not at all getting apart from guru varg i have actually already told about guru varg they are exception because those did, or those who have actually followed proper those guru varg i am not at all talking about them that our guru varg we are speaking our guru varg we are just like foolish speaking like this the actual vichar of siddhant vichar of prabhupad other shastra and everything is different it is all different even what they are actually gone against god himself also so what kind of siddhant they want to establish prabhupad speaking that uh, from the fort, past 40 years that one appropriate candidate i haven't found up till now and those who are actually coming to me they are they are just hearing some hari katha and after hearing hari katha after hearing that hari katha that according to their own conception or limit of their mind they are actually making that in hari katha some they are some hari katha they are hearing but after that they are also applying their own material mind in that which is actually limited limited material mind they are applying to that they are not at all understanding according that their own vichar their uh, mentality intelligence they are actually believing in that only they are actually having that 100% belief on their on their own self not on pure guru vaishnav and uh, all the people mostly those who have come in the line of bhajan they are actually they actually want that they want popularity in their life like uh, all those material people that they should uh, give us aarti give some pranam in some mala this is the actual uh, janagal of this uh, sansar of this material world they actually want that prabhupad actually speaking that this kind of uh, popularity false popularity this kind of uh, enjoying false popularity they have inside their ha- inside their heart this kind of bhav they have and prabhupad speaking that absolute truth the actual truth absolute truth those who want that that they those who want that absolute truth in their life they are actually next to nothing there no but no one is there if someone is there that is very rare it is almost equivalent to no one is there that absolute truth that absolute truth that uh, if someone wants in their life those who want in in their life nobody is there i can't speak like that it is just equivalent to it is not there very very rare so this so much rare they are actually in this material that you can't even count them those who are actually thinking proper speaking that they are actually thinking that they are dharma pracharak those who are thinking that they are dharma pracharak they are actually just uh, popularizing them by just speaking like they are like the actually dharma pracharak they are actually the preacher of the actual bhagavad dharma they are thinking like that they are actually speaking like so called uh, bhagavad dharmi those people that uh, their own existence that kind of world project they have one one project of preaching all worldwide they are doing that in that world market what kind of existence they have they don't want to actually uh, remove that and they don't have this kind of uh, 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 they, this kind of advantage on one platform they what kind of existence that present existence they have in order to just maintain that they are doing all that they don't want their own present existence should go away that's why those people that kind of uh, topmost uh, hari katha by those people after hearing because disease is disease all persons are uh, uh, g- uh, getting out their false ego just by hearing that because this is a disease you just need to treat that because they will just get uh, angry by just hearing that absolute truth so according to their own in order to just maintain their own present position they are doing that they don't want to speak about that pure absolute truth why because their popularity will just get reduced or lost and if it will be like that the i will be just speaking in in the diverted way not in a straight uh, way so like this 
ऑल दोज पीपल दोज वर ऑल मटीरियल बॉन्डेड जीवर्स दोज वर बहिर्मुख दैट्स वाई दैट्स वाई वी ऑल दीज अब वी जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑफ ऑल दिस वो हाउ टू डू एंड वॉट टू डू सो दैट आवर लॉस शुड नॉट बी देयर एंड वी शुड बी गोइंग ऑन टू दम ट्रैक बाई दिस वील बी डूइंग दैट सम काइंड ऑफ विचार एंड दैट्स वाई आवर भजन इज नॉट एट ऑल गोइंग इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन हाउ इट विल गो भजन मीन्स टू जस्ट सेटिसफाई भगवान हंड्रेड परसेंट जस्ट टू सेटिसफाई प्योर गुरु वैष्ण आवर भजन इज नॉट ऑल गोइंग लॉट ऑफ रीजन आर देयर बिहाइंड दैट एट दैट टाइम सम टाइम वी आर थिंकिंग दैट हरी भजन वाई वी आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग हरी भजन हाउ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू हरी भजन बट वाई इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग द एक्चुअल आंसर फॉर दिस फॉर दिस वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो गुरु वर्ग वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो गुरुदेव हु ऑलरेडी हैव प्रूव एवरीथिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वाई एक्चुअली वी आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग हरी एक्चुअल हरी भजन वॉट इज एक्चुअल रीजन For what purpose the Hari Bhajan is not at all possible for us? Who is actually responsible for this? So this, for this, that kind of prajal which is going on, that's why. In Chaitanya Chitamre, the Chaitanya Bhagwan Chandramre, the already I have one shloka I have just spoken. At that point, that Brahma Katha we are actually uh, liking to hear up till the Mukti Path when we want to want to go to on the pathway of Mukti. and those all those material jeevas they are actually giving different kind of material which are in front of us we are actually also finding this very good and true all those actually which is going on we are actually finding it very true and good at that point up till that point uh with the, each other that kind of shastra some vishay of shastra we are actually just uh, doing some kind of argument on that that we are doing shastra vid those who are shastra vid those who are shastra vid aapas mein that with each other that kind of fighting in fighting is going on and all the time externally all those uh, material uh, material material vishay is go, which is going on that externally which is going on that our heart is actually going towards this material uh, prospects all the time it is just attracting towards these material prospects up till what point it will be going up till what kind point this kind of vishay will be going up till that point when we will be not at all getting uh, uh, we haven't given our whole life onto the lotus feet of uh, gorang mahaprabhu when we will not be winding the darshan of that uh, topmost mahapurush in our life that kind of mahatma darshan that topmost acharya darshan will not be finding in our life up till that point this kind of uh, entanglement towards material bondage will definitely will be there and all kinds of material vishay and all kind of material uh, techniques what we want to follow all will be going on up till that point when will be not having that darshan of bhagavat uh, darshan all this actually actually are against bhak- pure bhakti lot from the last two days i am actually discussing this point in front of you that this all these uh, we will be finding it very much uh, sore in taste it is we will be finding it very sore in taste up till what point when chat shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that some niji jan devotee some niji, some the eternal parshad i will be doing some association with that up till this point i will be just finding it uh, very go bad good up till that point i'll be finding that that lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu those eternal parshad we i'll be associating with the very close parshad of gorang mahaprabhu those who have already just get established in the acharan of uh, anugatya of gorang mahaprabhu i'll be getting the association of their lotus feet that those who have just came onto this material world to just uh, establish the actual uh, actual instructions of gorang mahaprabhu in this material life when i will be not finding the actual uh, lotus feet of the darshan of the lotus feet of the lotus feet of the devotees up till that point it is not at all possible to get rid of the material bondage yesterday i was just i was discussing this point पश्यन्न न पश्यन्न 
that sleeping those who are material people those who are material bonded jeevas in the night time they are actually just giving up in just sleeping in the night time and uh, in the day time that kamini association they are doing uh, in the night time and in, at the night and the day time they are actually just getting blind in money here and there they are just moving just for money if we are actually making an actual abbreviation actual equilibrium equilibrium ab- abbreviation towards this and according to the calculation we are just finding it that our life is actually is going towards uh, the danger zone why because uh, uh my day time is actually getting in money and my night time is just getting in sleeping and mating so what is the actual time required we have for hari bhajan oh thakur ji when uh, i will be finding the time to do bhajan of yours when i will be finding the actual time yeah. vidyapati ji has already told who and at what point we will be doing because my whole day actually is going uh, away in this material activities and uh, whatever our uh, close relatives mother father everyone that mother father child of my own body i just need to maintain that as well and all those uh, bonded relative jeevas everyone <coughs> i just need to uh, just doing associating with them and all kind of uh, talkings will be going on with them how actually we can maintain and will be doing uh, the association of these uh, material relatives so this all is going on in our life and we can't even imagine up till this point just by seeing also he is seeing it but still he is not at all seeing he already is, is seeing that my life is going away but still by seeing that this is not at all actual seeing this is actually not sight seeing this is equivalent to not seeing he is actually seeing day by day what is that i am actually going towards death and my life is actually just um, getting my power is getting reduced day by day he knows each and everything but he is not at all getting um, away from that just by uh, knowing everything there is no not at no solution available for him in this all wishes he is just getting entangled and engaged in all this and in the all the four directions what kind of uh, nidan that uh, all kind of disadvantages he is facing but he is not at all accepting that deho apatto galat yad sagalen nijan jaan ke bhi pramatto hakar apna he knows that he is actually going towards his death but still he is actually ignoring that he is seeing that his father is going away his mother is going away all actually his mother father relatives are going away he actually is actually thing is destroyed his wife is uh, not feeling well he is she is ill just by seeing this also still he is not at all seeing that kind of actual tat is not at all realizing because this life maharaj is just of two days no no we don't know there is no guarantee what will happen in our life at what time how we can what how we can get the actual mangan in our life he is not at all having this kind of uh, realization inside his heart he is actually not thinking that my own uh, wife children everyone is anitya all are temporary everyone will just uh, leave me this is their actual uh, thing uh, definitely they going to leave me so this actually sukhdev goswami sometimes in bhagavad ji mahapurana it's already written this sukhdev goswami pad actually is speaking in a very foul language sometimes uh, he is speaking sukhdev goswami they actually speaking no that this uh, so much was by speaking so much like that sukhdev goswami pad just giving in paracharcha vishay he is actually giving uh, this kind of uh, commentary in front of us that all those prajalpi people those who are actually doing prajal those who are kapati definitely they they this is not at all prajal at all this is not at all prajal he wants that he, uh, every person can get the actual mangal in their life 
सो दैट्स वाय वॉट एवर एक्चुअली वॉट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर प्रजल फॉर अर फॉर दैट महापुरुष इट कैन नॉट बी प्रजल फॉर देम सो लॉट ऑफ एक्चुअली विचार आर देयर रिगार्डिंग दिस लॉट ऑफ विचार आर देयर रिगार्डिंग दिस समटाइम्स ही सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग समटाइम्स सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद स्पीकिंग That this विषय people why actually I will be uh, holding their lotus feet why will be taking the lotus feet of those material uh, people why we are actually taking the lotus feet of those material jivas what is their actual duty what is the actual thing in that whether Bhagwan is not there in this life lot of uh, वेरागे वी आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एंड वॉट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग लॉट ऑफ काइंड ऑफ वेराग्य वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग सो जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट बट टू प्रैक्टिकली अप्लाई दैट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट एंड इफ वी आर एक्चुअली हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार Mahaprabhu is also Mahaprabhu is also used to do sashan on us and giving one example in front of us Mahaprabhu actually speaking it think if we are thinking that is cult of one kind of paracharcha but it is not at all paracharcha at all Prabhu actually speaking that that i am actually doing prakriti sambhasan i'll be just uh, talking with the women just in order to enjoy them so i am don't want to see their face even mahaprabhu is actually speaking uh, in a very loud voice and he's speaking in a very angry mood small small like insects those who we cannot see also less like insects those who are, we are actually my our life is just like a small insect only if you are actually seeing it from a very top view we will be seeing that only black black small heads just just go very very up in the sky you can on the top you can see you just go to sialda that from the sialda bridge when you are coming no you can just to see that what is actually small small black things are going only their black head you can see all the small small insects just in the form of insects actually is moving so all these shudra jeev just like markat varagya they are doing prabhu kahe mor mon rahe mor prabhu kahe mor vas rahe mor mon prakriti sambhasi bhairagi na kare sparsha ye jo upadesh diya so this upadesh actually mahaprabhu has given so much actually foul words and so much uh, strictly he is speaking harshly uh, for what use so that it is not at all coming in the category of paracharcha at all paracharcha it will not come in that category paracharcha that that prajalp it is actually division of prajalp is going the first division of prajalp i have already told pritha that just by speaking useless material talkings that vitark logical arguments this is also prajalp vitark this is also prajalp paracharcha this is also comes in the category of prajalp this is also prajalp in category of prajalp it is coming and like this that prajalp we have just uh, discussed regarding that ye jo on this actually viparyam ye jo ye jo ben raja ka that ben raja example of ben raja that ben raja's mind is just totally off that top most sinful ben raja king ben lot of prayers actually has done on to his lotus feet but he will not be actually understanding the point why because his actual mangal has gone away no no kind of updesh is actually getting inside his heart he don't want to uh, configure all kind of updesh what others are telling to him all those pure rishi munis and sadhus so much sikha maitre rishi what he has done matrimony just by his own will he is just speaking very harsh words to him 
in this vishay some very harsh words he is actually just writing it looks like that it is one kind of paracharcha you are thinking that it will be one kind of paracha but maitre rishi is not at all doing in order to just teach us our actual mangal he has just written in the shastras like this <coughs> that it is not at all coming in the category of prajalp that bhakti sadak that in the bhakt mandali if some uh, uh, that ancient uh, uh, history someone actually wants to give some logical arguments if he wants to speak regarding that like in ajamil upakhyan i will be speaking it just looks like a prajalp but it is not at all coming in the category of prajalp so this irsha dvesh dambha sa pratishtha sa pratishtha etc are actually all against bhakti this irsha dvesh dambha and all pratishtha etc are actually all against bhakti this kind of are all against the bhakti pravritti by all this pravritti we are actually going in that way we will be just be speaking the other things then definitely whatever we will be speaking it will actually all actually is equivalent to the aparad unto lotus feet of bhakti devi badanuvad in some vishay tarko i we are doing some kind of argument logically and he is speaking one thing he is speaking that thing but he is according to his own thinking he is just finding fault in other and he is just speaking all false kind of uh, imagination inside his mind and is just uh, doing all kind of false uh, imagination and planning against us uh, and plotting against someone and actually in actual something can be done and all useless material talking he is doing those all kind of material talking he is that all kind of male and female kind of thing uh, uh, speaking you are doing it all comes in the category of prajalpa badanuvad means that for someone you want to just uh, uh, just want to pressurize him that kind of pressurization uh, this is badanuvad no no you have spoken wrong i am speaking right this is called badanuvad that kind of in order to just maintain his porush he is actually doing all kind of these things to pressurize someone that his siddhant is correct this is actually just to find fault in others and thinking that whatever argument is giving is right that is called uh, against bhakti and he is actually finding fault in others that what kind of other faults he is uh, are there in others he is doing that so whatever kind of dirty heart he is actually just configuring faults in others it is definitely necessary to just uh, remove that and uh, and mithya jalpana that uh, what is not at all possible in actual just like a logically or imaginative uh, thinking is there but he is not at all thinking that that gram katha means that those who are grihatyagi those who are in, in the announced order that those who are in the announced order for those vaishnavas in each and every condition they just need to leave all kind of a satsang definitely this is very much important to get leave from that in all those uh, all kind of uh, in the material samaj or gram or whatever you are discussing materially it's all useless and rubbish you just need to leave that just by not leaving that it nothing will happen in your life bhajan will not increase at all that is called gram katha this uh, mobile mobile every, in the mobile everything is so uh, all material things all political things are actually going on in the mobile and other kind of uh, all rubbish talkings are, are all uh, very much dangerous for bhakti these are all gram katha which are actually all related to this material world that kind of naked picture of this material world what who has done what and this and that everything is going this is all material uh, talkings that's why sukhdev goswami actually speaking this point jo that those jo katha ka that in that katha there is actually no prasang of bhagwan's bhakti that kind of katha will definitely come in the uh, form of prajalp in in that where there is actually no prasang of seva of bhagwan nothing is related to devotees bhagwan dham anything that's why sukhdev goswami by writing 
नकतीयदगवान्दक्षजो तदीव सत्यम तदुव मंगल तदीव पुण्य भगवदुनोदय तदीव रम्यम रुचिम नवम नवम तदीव शशद मनसो महोत्सव तदीव सौकर्णव शोषण निना जदुत्तम श्लोको What actually it's written here? तदीव सौकर्णव शोषण निना यदुत्तम श्लोक जसो हे राजन जो बातें कर रहे हैं आदमी ऑल काइंड ऑफ भगवान हरि कथा इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर then definitely all those talkings which he is doing is all useless all are actually all material useless talkings they all are mithya this kind of asitya nari who is actually speaking all rubbish that in that manner only which is these are all actually all rubbish material things those in that katha that kind of actual bhagavat kathan is not at all coming that kind of kaam bhav is coming inside him. that is very much uh, rubbish and ruthless by those words we are not at all actually describing the one that is the actual katha that is the actual katha what is that But that is the topmost mangal of all mangal that is the topmost uh, pure thing in that katha that uttam shlok bhagwan there is no prasang in that that some no prasang is coming of that bhagavat katha that is ramya this is ramya is very good where actually the prasang of bhagwan is coming that is topmost uh, beautiful that is topmost uh, advantageous for our heart and is very much good for us for a jeevatma it is full of anand and for all those uh, jeevas that kind of shok or sadness or unhappiness is there <coughs> arnav means that just like ocean of happiness unhappiness or sadness ocean of sadness is there inside inside their heart just like a blotting paper you just need to soak that just like a blotting paper all actually it getting soaked like in the we just use fountain pen in the childhood we used to just write by using the fountain pen we have one kind of fountain pen he is, we are just soaking one liquid from the uh, liquid ink we are taking some block blotting paper also just by some ink is just getting spilled we are just using the blotting paper and then the whole ink is just getting soaked in that so what kind of shok is there in this material uh, life we just need to immediately craft that we just need to soak that who will soak that uh, bhagwa bhagwat katha will do that soak like a bloating paper every material talkings that's why according uh, apart from bhagwan prasang whatever material prasang we are doing we just need to remove that we just need to sacrifice that the katha actually what is the actual prasang of bhagwan when it is not at all there so like this if you are doing sadhu ninda that is also very much a mangal i have already told it before sadhu ninda also comes in that that it is also comes in the category of prajal nothing is there they are just actually doing the disrespecting sadhu oh don't go there they are actually all speaking like that that is sadhu ninda that is also comes in the category of prajalp sadhu ninda that prajalp that is very much dangerous it's very much dangerous where you will get where he will throw that if is someone is doing hari bhakti if he someone wants to do hari bhakti then he should have this kind of uh, uh, firm belief in him that he just need to just uh, 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 throw that pratigya because they don't know it is written in bhagavad ji mahapuran that there is one 
pure Guru Vaishnav, that actual Guru Vaishnav, if someone is disrespecting them, then what can be the actual result in that? It, it's already written there. Here, their age will just get destroyed. They will become very much bad in looking and their opulences will just get destroyed and their dharm will also get destroyed. And whatever they have done, the actual dharm, and whatever the older people have given them the uh, the blessings that will also go will also get destroyed. Ayuhu, Ayuhu, Ayuhu Sriyam Yasu Dharmam. Ayuhu Sriyam Yasu Dharmam Lokana Shi Shivacha Hanti Shyansi Sarvani Mahadatikrama Pungsho Mahadatikrama. What what actually is going on? Their age is going. Their age is going. Your age is getting reduced. Just by disrespecting sadhus, they will becoming so much fallen. Their face becomes so much like demon that you can't even imagine. I have already seen that. That they are by looking very much bad. They are actually very black in color. But bhakti is there. Then there definitely some uh, an, another kind of glow is there on his face. This is already actually proved in the Shastras also. So, Ayu Shriyam Yasho Dharmam. So, if some Jeevatma is actually doing that, is doing some this kind of thing, then by doing that, definitely that uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnav that the actual uh, what actually sadhu guru vaishnav are speaking if someone actually something reverse is actually speaking in front of gupyor guru vaishnav i'm disrespecting me i'm not at all speaking anything to anyone if i am actually speaking very firm uh, uh, firm thing of harikatha but if someone speaking uh, opposite to me then i'm not at all uh, speaking anything to him i actually went to madinipur for harikatha and there actually someone speaking very opposite to me those people i have given love to them and they have just come to me and there's so much love i am getting from them when i have just got the information that maharaj is going that maharaj is actually going to play dandwa there they are actually when i uh, they are speaking all rubbish uh, to me on vyasasan they are speaking all they are all speaking bad foul words to me and i am just laughing i haven't spoken anything to them I have just prepared Dandva on the lotus feet of Krishna because whatever he is doing, he just need to face those reactions. If he is speaking foul words to me, okay, he can speak that. But I am actually very fallen soul. I am a Sahaji. I am a foolish person. They are actually speaking like that. Okay, let them speak. <laughs> what I can do in that? I am just laughing. That's very good. It's very good. What is actually bad in that? This is very, very good. They, for their actual mangal, I haven't taken any responsibility of them. So, okay, whatever is their desire, they can do. So, in the my Harikatha also, in, when there was Harikatha at that point, I have just spoken to them one point in the Harikatha that I haven't spoken anything in Harikatha to anyone. Okay, whatever they want to do, I am very cold mind, I am just uh, speaking my Harikatha there. And in Harikatha, I have spoken that uh, the child don't know what he is doing. The small child don't know what you are doing. The actual reaction, what will happen, you don't know about that. They are in the temple, they have just done foul words to me and after that I just came back after paying Dandva to Krishna, uh, Thakurji. And uh, the people are thinking that I am becoming very uh, angry with them. But Harikatha, you just have to speak like this. That is the actual instructions of Guru work. This is a separately different thing. That is the actual Mangal for all the Jeevas. So, are you... By doing Mahadadikram, their age will get reduced, their opulences will get destroyed and their face will become so much ugly that they, that whatever opulences they have earned, everything will get destroyed and in the name of dharma and karma, everything will get destroyed slowly, steadily. Everything will be gone away from them. This kind of actual thing, actual Kalikal, what is going on, the actual... Uh, 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 blessings of the older people you are getting everything will get destroyed by doing Vaishnava Prat so Bhakti what what is not Anukulya for Bhakti Bhakti Mahathagur speaking that what is not at all uh, Anukulya for Bhakti for 
that all kind of duties and activities you just need to throw that away that all kinds of prajalp what is coming in the way of bhakti the sadhak vaishnavas with great care they have to throw that away with very careful attention they have to throw the, throw that away everything they need to uh, throw away if they will not throw away then bad bhagwat bhajan cannot be possible at all it is not at all possible to do bhagwat bhajan bhagwat bhajan there is no question of doing bhagwat bhajan at all up till this point prabhupada always used to speak in hari katha also all the time prabhupada always used to speak that i have already told it a lot of time before and in bhagavatam also in second shlok some shlok is there in bhagavad ji mahapuran there is one other shlok but prabhupada actually always used to speak that prakriti purush by that combination whatever this whole uh, material world we are seeing that you are speaking don't speak anything good or bad about anyone so don't do any kind of good or bad towards anyone because by doing that you will just get entangled in that because we are actually speaking about the glorification of vaishnav okay you are doing glorifying vaishnav that is good but but just you are speaking very good for one and something bad you are speaking to them you are not at all good by speaking good to someone that material person he is not a vaishnav so you are if you are glorifying him and you are speaking good about him then your concentration will be on the character of that particular person because he is in the material platform those on that person he is in the material platform you are just uh, and you are just actually speaking good about him so definitely all these material qualities you will be just concentrating on them and they are all contaminated so you are actually just going uh, uh, the respecting him so definitely your if your concentration will get uh, uh, on him that material person then that de- definitely your mind will also get contaminated and by that concentration because he is material having material qualities so in your the you should have that aprakrit concentration in your mind but that your material concentration will come definitely your consciousness will fall down and just by speaking bad about him definitely also you will be just remembering and concentrating on his bad things what you are speaking and definitely you have to fall down from that position as well so prabhupad always used to speak this point and bhagavad ji in bhagavad ji mahapurana in 11th canto also uddhav ji maharaj bhagwan shri krishna in the last upadesh antim upadesh speaking ja prashansati nindati sa asu bhrasate sharthat asatya abhi niveshata you can understand what i am speaking it's very easy to understand that the others the actual natural behavior or karma what is there that those people who are actually just doing they all the time just respecting them or maybe speaking bad about them so those persons only that immediately that they will they will become uh, brushed means they will get destroyed their consciousness will get destroyed and that aprakrit atma consciousness your it will drop away and they will just get uh, their fall, consciousness will fall down and their swartha here swartha means that actual mangal of the atma it will, you will not get in your life that asat that you, you while you are just speaking good or bad about that particular person that on the temporary vishay you are by speaking on that you are concentrating on mind on that and you are will getting you will be losing you will be losing your spiritual facility by that you will be getting uh, diverted from that atma mangal definitely you gonna fall down that asat anitya in this uh, material world you are you will be concentrating on that and by that definitely definitely you gonna uh, fall fall down from your bhajan line after that there is one another prajalp it is it comes here that from last two days i am actually discussing on this topics i was discussing on prajalp today i'll be the third day is today and niyamagraha that is 
that niyama grah this is very much important in this very in depth analysis is there about niyama grah what do you mean niyama grah is divided in two categories one is piti and vidhi one is vidhi according to the rules and rules what is niyama grah niyama grah means what do you mean by niyama grah what is the literal meaning of niyama grah the vichar we will definitely do that but what is the actual literal meaning of niyama grah niyam plus agrah niyam means the what that what the rules and regulations they have more concentration on rules and regulation and the actual object that is that opt or that sukshma siddhant that fine siddhant of hari bhajan niyam rules and rules and regulation is concentrating more but not on fine form of hari katha kirtan is not at all concentrating these rules and regulations in the way of my hari bhajan they will not be giving backing at all so are this whole material world there are so much disturb so much things are there that morality is there and morality ko dhoke you will be just destroying morality and just be taking water in that huh? no not like that if it is not at all used for hari bhajan for those who are doing hari bhajan this kind of yash prem opulence is whatever rules and regulations are there for those who are doing actual hari bhajan it is actually very dangerous for them in the way of actual bhajan because they are already pratishtit fixed in hari bhajan so what kind of other rules and regulations will do what is the actual uh, uh, purpose of all those rules regu- and regulations in the shastras so for a one paramhans all kind of rules and regulations you will be just be giving him then definitely it will become <coughs> for a paramhans uh, devotee become a one kind of hazard because it is against hari bhajan pure bhajan that's why that all kinds of rule niyam plus agraha noim means rules and regulations that according those who are actually more concentrating on rules and regulations that is definitely become that will not become actual bhajan for him he, he will be diverted from the actual bhajan so this vidhi and nished it is categorized into niyam agraha vidhi that is according to the rules and regulations of the shastras and second is nished that what do you have to prohibit in the line of bhajan vidhi lakshan and nished lakshan the actual target regarding that so those what you what you have to do according to the shastras which are very necessary for a particular sadhak according to the scriptural instructions which, what we have to what we must do nidesh these we have to these are all actually comes in the category of vidhi like uh, in the math all actually rules and regulations in the math what can you just need to uh, get up early in the morning you just need to brush your teeth and you have to just take bath and you have to do anik and after that you have to go to the aarti after aarti you have to just sit in the kirtan after doing kirtan you just need to do in the path in hari katha after is done then you just have to take small seva you have to do after that take some prasadam and after take some bhalbhog and after that again you go in the seva so all these rules and regulations of the mat that is all you have to follow that according to yourself according to yourself you just need to do seva this is the actual rules and regulations of the vidhi that is vidhi lakshan niyam and nished means that ekadashi you don't need to take uh, anna prasadam you don't need to take rice and in dwadashi you don't need to do any uh, on the other side you just need to pluck tulsi you don't need to give bath to shalgrams all these kind of prohibit prohibitions are there so lot of prohibitions are there in the shastras written you are going into the room of uh, bhagwan you don't need to speak any material things there you don't need to speak anything while just opening the door of krishna temple so all these kind of vidhi and nished all this uh, you just by having concentrating it on your mind if you are actually going ahead in bhajan then definitely in the way of bhajan that according to the rules and regulations you will be just getting into yourself into that and you will be just moving your life according to that just practicing abhyas yoga by your actual practice will just get uh, changed you are actually just getting up at 7 am in the morning and uh, he is not at all getting up early in the morning at 3:30 to 4 am you have to just open your eyes and you have to do the aarti darshan but still you can't do because you are opening your eyes at 7 am so that's why for the bonded jeeva these rules and regulation is the best procedure those who have just come in the ruchi marg ruchi marg 
those who have just come in the ruchi marg for their rules and regulations for, are not for them but still uh, they are actually guru varg actually showing us how to you uh, go on that actual pathway of pure bhakti so all the jeevas in their own life all the jeevas in their life that final target what is the actual final target bhakti should be there at for the jeevas in their life there should be some target in them so in order to get that target that preliminary that all preliminarily some certain rules and regulations they need to follow that each and every step by step that vidhi and nishet each and every where it is applicable all the time it is applicable so in order to control us you have to do you have to do this you don't need to do this you don't need to do that if the bonded jiva before only he is actually becoming angry then everything will get destroyed for him he will not be doing actual bhajan hari bhajan at all for bonded jivas their actual natural behavior it's very much dirty for bonded jivas their sanskar it's so much dirty so much dirty that you can't even imagine that but bonded jiva if he will be just staying with you you will become so much uh, surprised to see that you maybe you some have some kind of experience some material person is have some some relative and he has just came in the house what is doing you are you are a vaishnav you are a vaishnav but his relative is all actually just uh, is taking food in on the bed and is just uh, making everything go chist what he is doing oh it's very bad you will not be feeling well what he is doing that what to do so bhakti mohan thakur actually speaking here that to get control over those for you, you just need to just uh, get en- engaged in the rules and regulations in very sophisticated way in the beginning you will become very much surprised and uh, fooled but still you just need to follow those rules and regulations of the shastras what are you, that you don't need to take a chist of anything from where from here from all the two hands he is eating and he is uh, touching the cloth also he is also touching the cloth everything he is doing but means his position and his whole family everything is just uchist only everything is uchist for them whatever their objects are there all actually is uchist they are all pure guru vaishnav they just they definitely pure guru vaishnav should be there so that they can teach us where they can actually sit and take prasadam just by taking all they don't actually strictly prohibit themselves to just stay on the bed and taking food there i have already told them a lot of time but still oh they are speaking where actually just like muslim people they are eating on the food they definitely we have to take prasadam on the bed only because it's very pure if you are actually taking definitely you have to just sleep on the latrin you just need to sleep on blood, stool and urine all actually foolish things going on so that's why shila rup go swami pad actually speaking to us that thakur ji that i don't need any association of a material people just do kripa on me that i am actually can just uh, that in the all the four directions fire is going on i can just uh, have the capacity to survive on that it is acceptable for me but no association of material person should be there at all rup go swami pad actually told this point so vidhi nishet you just it's very much important to follow it is very very important it's a must to regulate your life if they don't know anything how to regulate their normal life they don't have any kind of consciousness also they don't have anything or they don't actually uh, follow anything that whatever we have in this bhajan life still he has not come in the bhajan but still they know actual about the those who have in the bengal those who haven't come in the bhajan line also still they know actually some rules and regulations i am not speaking about any foolish people i am just speaking about those who know the rules and regulations after just uh, taking rice still they be touching rice and after they will not be touching the other objects in chaitanya chitam they told it written that sokra that word is there that this dry and all these all these uh, things which i am discussing it will just be like a joking to you i know that i know that it will be a joking and all these people here 
they actually all have this kind of consciousness that what they have just two minutes before what i have just touched and the right hand what i have touched uh, two minutes before everything they can know after taking uh, they are just actually taking food and after that they are that whole tap is becoming uh, uchist so they are just they don't know anything maybe they are taking prasadam from the right hand after they don't need to touch it from your right hand and someone actually taking from the left hand so don't need to use the left hand but they don't know anything about the rules and regulations the other things are very far distant the normal rules and regulations they don't know what how can they do hari bhajan huh? so this is a, like a joking so whatever all this kind of vidhi and nishad at the time of taking chapatis i have already time while you are just serving chapatis when you just have to do it from the up so that separately you can give it on to the uchist patra if you will be just starting it with the uchist patra and everything will, will become uchist the whole prasadam plate will also become uchist there is some person will be giving you chapati you have to give it from the up that uchist patra when you will be giving chapati your hand is becoming uchist also as well but you have to just carefully uh, give it from the up so that the, your hand should be not become uchist so don't have any kind of uh, consciousness so that's why this kind of bonded uh, uh, for bonded jiva this kind of vidhi and nishad rules and regulation are very much important to follow for those who will be following those uh, with vidhi and nishad those who will be following more definitely they will just get ahead in hari bhajan and bhakti vinod thakur ji speaking that at the last that is by just following that rules and regulations what will happen in the last that that he will be getting out of these rules and regulations it's an automatic process you just need so it's already done automatically when if you are in your life you will not be getting involved in the rules and regulation of vidhi and nishad you will not be following then your whole life will just get destroyed you will not cannot rectify yourself at all nothing will happen in your life if somebody some is doing the work of acharya if he is not at all following the rules and regulation then he will be speaking to other that why actually is speaking uh, how you have to follow rules and uh, gurudev you are already speaking that we don't need to follow the vidhi nishad so that is good so all kind this kind of which are this acharyas are having so this is not at all good and the shlok the previously i have just told that definitely it is very much important to accept all those shlokas and it is very and according to your adhikar according to your adhikar according to your own adhikar individual adhikar you have to work accordingly so according to that though you don't have any kind of uh, eligibility to do that particular work if you will be doing that then definitely it will become one kind of dosha for you one which is strictly prohibited you can't do that work particular work if you are not at all having eligibility in that so for others if this kind of qualities that will that can become one kind of uh, bad quality for you for a kshatriya in the going in the battle field and just to having full bravery showing on the battle field so that to protect the whole world whole material world that is the actual duty of a kshatriya but those who are actually one shudra he is doing the duty of a kshatriya then it will become one kind of uh, dosh for him so th- accordingly what the duty of a particular person is there that those who have that adhikar they have that brahman na- natural na- brahman behavior he is doing the puja archan then it will be it is good for him but if so shesha adhikare janishtha shaguna parikritita अधिकार that that is actually called uh, uh, that all demerits and merits will definitely have something all all the time it is there so according to your adhikar you just need to do the duties perform the duties and opposite if you will be doing then definitely opposite will happen in your life so uh, time place then time place country etc date 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 time place country etc object etc qualities 
बैड गुड क्वालिटीज बैड क्वालिटीज विद इन शेद एवरीथिंग दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर अधिकार दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट हैविंग फुल निष्ठा ऑन योर अधिकार दैट इज द एक्चुअल क्वालिटी एंड इफ यू विल बी गोइंग रिवर्स दैन डेफिनेटली इट विल बिकम दोष फॉर यू इट इट विल बी जस्ट अगेंस्ट भक्ति will be counted in dosha so that is actually the actually vastavik siddhant what we are speaking that uh, time date country object by just having uh, this kind of concentration in your mind the actual duty of the jiva what is the actual duty of the jiva just do follow the rule, actual rules and regulation prescribed in the shastra which is not against bhakti which is uh, good for anukulya for bhakti all actually is arranged because of that that time date country position and uh, etc object everything is actually in front of us the actual uh, rules and regulations of the jeevas is to follow that with full strict behavior and if so they are be going according to pure guru vaishnav then definitely it will become quality for them otherwise it will go opposite it will become dosh for them nitya and namitik nidhi vished in between that that nitya it means that within nishedatmak that rules and regulations that within nishedatmak all these rules and regulations that our if we will be doing vichar on that concentrating on that nitya and namitik this kind of within nished i have already told a lot of time before that within nished that in this within nished it is also of two types one is nitya and and namitik two types are there those which is nitya they are, it is actually t- totally separate and namatic suppose you can say that namatic some some kind of uh, reason they, it is very much uh, uh, desirable to do that thing at that time but one time what happened that it is not at all it is prohibited to do at that time it is not at all permanent it is temporary so all those rules and regulations which are actually nitya that all the time you can follow that in that nitya vidhi that all the sandhya bandhan this is nitya vidhi you have to do that permanently and you have have to do the sandhya bandhan that is nitya vidhi this is not at all namatik vidhi the jeev jeev what do you mean by jeev actually that jeev is actually this body that uh, like jeev insa i have already done pers- described you under the anugatya prabhupad jeev insa means that to just to uh, make the opposite way for a jeevatma you are not at all showing him the bhakti uh, uh, pathway of bhakti you are just diverting him towards karma mar gyan mar all these kind of mayavadi pathways you are just uh, distracting him that is called jeev insa jeev insa it is not like you are just cutting him or killing him okay it is just uh, at uh, the person actually thinking that this body actually uh, you are giving a lot of uh, uh, unhappiness to this body so that is called jeev hinsa just by killing him and uh, beating that it is there in jeev hinsa definitely because other person will think that is not a jeev hinsa so just go on killing and beating everyone propad actually is speaking it's not like that the actual meaning what is actual meaning of jeev hinsa just to sp- actual uh, uh, cutting jeev uh, jeevas and just eating them that is also jeev hinsa but the actual jeev hinsa what is their actual meaning that who is jeev actually jeev is not this body jeev is atma jeev is atma so jeev atma what how it can how jeev atma can get the actual mangal you if you will be doing the opposite which are then it is all opposite will happen if the jeev atma if you will be just going according to the actual direction you will be giving them then otherwise if you will not be putting them on actual direction then it will come jeev hinsa because jeev atma is actually vishuddh chinmay vastu object and he has that eternal relationship with bhagwan when we will be just getting established in that eternal relationship with bhagwan that is actually vidhi and that is actual nitya rules and regulations that this is actually a chinmay vastu chid vastu jeev is a chinmay vastu so whatever the actual uh, rules and regulations for a chid atma that jeev atma he is actually a chid vastu and for this chid vastu whatever kind of uh, rules and regulations or duties according what is actually connected with this body he has to do that like jap dhyan meditation anik sandhya mandan everything this is nitya you don't need to throw that at all like uh, just you are taking a guru in your life you have already taken guru in your life 
and uh, the market some market people some mark so called market guru they have just uh, uh, they are actually or anitya because they are not at all nitya because they are actually remembering that on their own uh, efforts so jeevatma is actually nitya they actually are just getting they are and the when the jeev is actually just getting established in the natural behavior that all kind of rules and regulations he need to follow that is called nitya niyam you don't need to throw that like guru vaishnav you have to do the acharan you have to do sandhya vandana you have to do paath hari katha you have to do puja all these are actually nitya and this whole jeev and the whole jeevatmas these in this material world when they are getting their birth in this material world they just are getting deflected by maya and they are getting this body by the they back version of body is not at all prakrit this is this is transcendental they have transcendental body so this kind of siddh avastha they have already forgot that that i have that uh, nitya sthiti nitya establishment that i am the nitya krishna das of krishna if this kind of memory is not at all there when we are living in this material world it's so it, there should be some different uh, considerations uh, regarding this that is called upadhi in the nitya avastha uh, the jivas have that kind of prema that vidhi that in their nitya state what the jivas are having in them that in the nitya state that nitya nitya siddh krishna prem they have that is the actual concentration of a jiva in that state and that vidini shed atmak that kind of uh, rules and regulations of the jivas that it is actually coming in the natural inclination of the jivas and in this material world who are actually following the material uh, rules and regulation like to do shraddh etc these are all called nematic vidhis these are just temporary titled vidhis shuddh guru vaishnav they whether they are doing or not it doesn't matter but when they are actually living in this material world all the grass people they have to just be careful in taking consideration that's why for vaishnava this is not at all vidhi for them and uh, their demon should do the shraddh but in this material world where all the people will be just uh, uh, disrespecting sadhu so that's why they are doing without any shraddha they are just performing that shraddh the inside they inside they don't they have the, they, have, they have that nishta inside them that we are will be giving the mahaprasad to the jivas prabhupad actually speaking this and externally they are showing as if they will be doing the shraddh so what is actually for you for you what is that is nitya it means that what is actually connected with your atma that kind of uh, rules and regulations you are doing that is called nitya upasana dhyan yagya etc everything and i think means this is titled which is time to time changing for you so for, for vaishnav we have to do this kind of uh, vichar all the time inside their heart that according to that how they have to go that it's not like that that they are, it is just away from their mind it they have to just take it into consideration how to do that work particular seva bhakti mur thakur ji also has told one very important point to us that that nimarasana saram that's already told in bhagavatam this already this shloka told in bhagavatam and ahead also this guy in shrimad bhagavatam it is already written vedyam vastavam atru shivadam tapatyan munalam ye bataya nirmasaran to nirmasar nimatsar in that condition in that state nirmatsar condition in the in the only when you are having that nirmatsar condition just be careful when you have that condition of nirmatsar only at that point that you can follow bhagavad dharma inside your heart whether this bhagavad dharma is nitya dharma this is the actual dharma of atma but still it looks like that with your heart that it is actually missing from your heart but this bhagavad dharma that when you are getting put pratishtha in bhagavad dharma if every someone wants to get pratishtha in bhagavad dharma then he just to make into consideration that he should be nirmat sir all the time first condition of doing bhagavad bhajan nimrat sir prem my jiva he actually when he is actually realizing his own swarup that he is the actual nityadas of krishna and that kind of prem my jeev that uh, he is actually actually is a uh, uh, <coughs> realization of nitya ras when it comes inside his heart jiva actually is actually taking the ashray of nitya ras it ras is actually is of five types but still 
it comes in the categories of five rasas major we have already categorized that but still that is the topmost chinmay vastu which is totally permanent like you, the river uh, water of saraswati water the water of yamuna ganga all actually are uh, just uh, meeting at the same point and uh, that same and sometimes you can see the uh, <coughs> color of water is black and yellow and sometimes it is uh, like uh, blue but water is water water is water there is actually some difference of color in that so that's why rasa are of five kinds everyone knows about that <coughs> but shant dasya sakhya vatsalya madhur these are all five kind of rasas but ras is rasa ras is rasa rasa just by categorizing into five types ras is top most in my vastu this is permanent in that condition in that condition in the bonded condition in this condition the rules and regulations all these uh, you just need to be very careful regarding the rules and regulations it just need to understand this point that that in this condition that we have that actual permanent prem mai avastha that condition of prem mai condition is there because we are in the bonded state we can't understand the actual prem mai avastha so this kind of uh, actually is getting uh, out from our mind we can't get into the range of that prem mai avastha now about the nematic titled nimi uh, within ishad i am just talking about that in front of you nematic in this nematic condition the all those kind of uh, rules and regulations are there all the vidhi and nished are there all this in this condition of nematic uh, titled condition all kinds of rules and regulation are very or very different types <coughs> it has uh, different different classifications but the actual uh, external lakshan external target of this when you will be finding that step by step it is categorized into three types it is categorized in three types Each in each and every type and category, there's some kind of vidhi and nishad is definitely there in that. That in the karma vibhag, varna ashram dharma, and and the anugatya, all kind of ten kind types of sanskar. You already know the ten kinds of sanskar, the ten kinds of sanskar. All are there actually. All you just need to follow that, but. if for some person he is actually going into a paramhansa avastha state then for him it is not at all applicable in this varna ashram dharma it is applicable up till that point when the person particular person that jeev hasn't went on to the paramhansa condition or he is actually is not in the category of varna ashram dharma he is get, can get out of the uh, get he can get out of the category of varna ashram dharma so in this karma vibhag in this division of karma varna ashram dharma and uh, this uh, and what what kind of anugatya kai 10 kinds of sanskar the birth sanskar and all kind of different kind of sanskar is all related with that slowly steadily that uh, garbh sanskar from the womb sanskar about sukhdev goswami it is already written there in shrimad bhagavatam जब आफ्टर टेकिंग बर्थ वॉट काइंड ऑफ संस्कार द पर्सन इज चाइल्ड विल बी हैविंग दैट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज द जाति जाति कर्म सो जस्ट नीड टू डू दैट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिविजन ऑफ कर्म देर आर टेन काइंड ऑफ संस्कार ऑलरेडी देयर फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम यज्ञ संस्कार लॉट ऑफ संस्कार आर देयर गर्भधान संस्कार वूम्ब संस्कार nowadays nobody actually following this kind of sanskar but i don't know whether somebody is following that up till that point also just at at the time of that also that kind of janai sanskar and at the at the last every sanskar you just need to follow these kind of 10 types of sanskar and anik sandhya bandhan three times you are doing it is very much important and patak 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 sanskar you just don't need to do this kind of sanskar that upapatak this is strictly prohibited to do in the second division in the gyan vibhag in the gyan categorization sambandh chid chid achid alochana sambandh gyan vairagya all these are actually there dhamya karma all are actually prohibited nishiddh karma are prohibited vishay asakti is prohibited so all these are actually prohibited it is not at all in the category of bhakti 
in the category of bhakti lot of th- things are there that both are shin that no material uh, things are there what is related to material objects it is actually explained in bhakti and what is actually anukulya for bhakti you just need to do that accept that and what is against bhakti you just need to reject that so all these kind of vidhan are there you have to do anukulya for bhakti it is actually all vidhi and nishet and in each and every uh, condition vidhi and nishet you just need to follow that don't uh, uh, remove that and whatever your body what in order to maintain your body that that is actually uh, that is actually this body actually you just need to maintain that so in order to maintain your body what kind of different different kind of just by maintaining your body just need to do bhagavat anushilan that is very much important that those who are bhagavat bhairmukh all kind of karm gyan vishaya shakti all actually of this it is actually what are actually against bhakti you just need to throw that away these are strictly prohibited so lot of actually which are are there already there that for the bonded jiva the first step is the karma kand for first step of the jivas when the bonded jiva is not at all coming in the pathway of bhakti when he is not at all coming in the pathway of bhakti but the bonded jiva then he cannot get actually pratishthit established in that uh, the first step for the bonded jiva is to do karma the pathway of karma he need to follow that and for each and every bonded jiva he just need to follow that karma mark and whatever is the last uh, thing for that whatever that uh, uh, rubbish work he is doing that who are all bonded jivas that they are avaid jivan that they are foolish life rubbish life this is all kind of bad which are already prohibited in the shastras you just uh, are uh, you have to remove that you have to quit all those kind of bad karm there i'll give you one example regarding this like africa se from the africa there is he you just be careful what i'm speaking from the africa south africa some tra- from 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 some tribal family one person i have just taken up one one child i have taken it from a tribal family and just by taking up that child from that place i am just getting giving full other anacharan of that pure guru vishnu under his guidance i am just uh, telling him and he is just following that and according to that he is not at all eating any amish he is taking very nice bath i have already seen that also one muslim he has just uh, taken the accepted the bhagavad dharma vishnu dharma and he has become so much pure that he is more pure than brahman so it means that if each and every particular person and his birth sanskar according to that his behavior identity and natural inclination is decided accordingly for a they actually not at all understanding that point at all if from inside they will be accepting that then only that bonded jeev was uh, they will get out of that whatever they are eating whatever they are sleeping walking whatever they are associating with others this kind of avaid life this they have to prohibit because they don't have any rules and regulation in their life they even for association also they are just doing like cats and dogs they don't have any kind of rules and regulation regarding that also so bonded jeeva they i have already seen the bonded jeevas like that lot of times especially they their actually population is more of the bonded jeevas after just eating a, uh, food they are not at all actually washing their heart they are taking some food in the train and they are so f- bad of food whole four directions foul smell is coming of that food but still they are actually eating that without washing their hands they are just sleeping and that is definitely going to touch that bed also so much bad condition you see the jeevas are naturally like this what to do very very dangerous uh, kind of behavior bonded jeevas are actually doing a bad a bad life they are de- leading a bad life they just need to leave that when he is slowly steadily becoming inclined and becoming incremental in his spiritual life then slowly steadily he can understand what is krishna bhajan and when actually is becoming incremental in his life that the first step he can accept karma kand that is the first step because there is no other pathway open for him he has become inclined incremental but still slowly steadily he has to come more up the first step his uh, uh, actually uh, he is becoming careful in karma kand he is actually having his eye on karma kand okay he has to do this karma kand okay no worries and the same jiva like this why actually is in this condition 
बिकॉज ही इज इन कर्म सुपान इन चेतन चिर तांबरे इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दिस इन चेतन चिर तांबरे इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न आई फेल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट आई विल बी डिस्कस्ड इट टुमारो डेफिनेटली इन चेतन चिर तांबरे इट दैट महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट व्हाट इज एक्चुअल लक्षण व्हाट इज एक्चुअल टारगेट ऑफ कर्म इफ द कर्म if with we are not at all actually getting transformed it into feeling it means gyan when just by doing karma that gyan is not at all coming inside us why gyan should come because because ultimately gyan will not get transformed into bhakti then it is of no use then it is more important to just get transformed your gyan your knowledge into bhakti that's why that is the actual point of karma kand when all the the person actually just le- leaving all the kind of bad things and bad karma he is just getting established in the rules and regulation established by the shastras then slowly steadily he is actually uh, just removing all kind of bad karma what he was doing before and he is just getting incremental to that topmost platform so that he can understand the so first step there is actually karma kand in the spiritual life going ahead in spiritual life so so this that uh, he has to just target the uh, topmost gyan supan karma supan because at last he should get that topmost knowledge spiritual knowledge and just by targeting that uh, uh, knowledge and a uh, next platform he'll be coming to the gyan supan so he'll just get up to that and uh, just to staying in the varnashram dharma and just just starting to uh, follow that it is actually the strict rule and regulation for a bonded jeeva to follow varnashram dharma he has to follow varnashram dharma all the time he has to follow and in a very well organized way he has to follow that that is his actual rules and regulation for him at that time up till that point we will be having in this material world when we are living that up till that point chin what is chinmay and what is material we just need to understand that that kind of differentiation should come inside our mind that what is actually chinmay and what is achinmay and that kind of false ego tat that ego tatva ahankar tatva just by uh, reading that and just by guided by the pure guru vishnu according to this tatva we just need to understand this kind of tatva at that time whatever karma you are doing up till that time that no kind of nirved should go it means nirved means that whatever you are taking knowledge then how you can get nirved in your life like about the trilandi bhikshu i have already told you that trilandi bhikshu has just crossed 60 over years of his age i that example will be very good for you he has just gone more than 60 years and in 60 years even for not a single time he hasn't uh, for self inquiry he hasn't actually sit for himself he is 60 years gone but still self inquiry is not at all coming inside his heart and there is no not at all any self inquiry inside his heart there is no kind of any wish coming for self inquiry and after getting all 60 years old that whatever kind of karm kand etc whatever he is doing he is going to that one kind of feeling just came inside him that one kind of nirved come in that maharaj that i am going over 60 years i have seen so i have seen so much of material things but still nothing has happened in my life but when actually all the material home my home has just kicked me out when i don't have any single penny then that kind of very uh, nice bhav is coming inside my heart what is that that is detachment detachment from the material matter this material matter is not at all giving me any resting inside my heart if i was actually just be uh, keeping quiet up till that point then i couldn't understand that point if i will be just getting created this kind of situation before then i couldn't understand but now i have understood by the grace of bhagwan so this kind of shlokas just need to be very careful regarding this rai ramanand in rai ramanand samvad also i have already discussed this point very previously before so varnashram dharma nishtha we have to follow up till that point that you have to follow that dharma nishtha it is actually strictly prohibited up till that point when jeev jeev has to just he has to just uh, uh, remove all kind of bad karma and just need to regulate his life slowly steadily that first thing is the karma kand roop swabhav that kind of platform is the first platform for all the jeevas after that slowly steadily in karma sopan he just need to slowly steadily move ahead and just going to the next platform he just need to take the knowledge platform and he is not at all taking that knowledge platform 
then in varnashram dharma by not by following that varnashram dharma slowly steadily he just need to move forward that is the actual rules and regulations at that point that chid and achid this is achid and this is chid this is matter this is chinmay this kind of uh, differentiation or bhav and it is that ankar tatva that kind of vivek slowly steadily it is just getting transformed then uh, he'll be in the jad in the all this matter slowly steadily by just performing those material duties that kind of nirved that kind of differentiation when it is not at all coming then up till that point varnashram dharma is very much important to quit when you will be quitting that then you will get punishment in that case in sadharma in sadharma whatever is there for us our dharma is that whatever is our dharma whatever in varnashram in which category i am there is one quota that according to that quota we just need to follow that because we just by quitting your own dharma and just following the other dharma you will not get anything in your life so up till that point that kind of nirved is not at all coming inside your heart that nirved is not at all coming inside your heart when it is not at all coming up till that point that varnashram dharma that after just by quitting that varnashram you will definitely gonna get punishment and after that that uh, that nirved upatti utpatti when it is coming after getting nirved he is getting that topmost adhikar he don't he will be had getting that uh, adhikar to get to the next platform just by getting that nirved utpatti that topmost uh, adhikar that kind of karmanishta will be getting uh, destroyed and he'll be getting established in the upper platform that's why prabhupada always used to speak at that point that karm etc that kind of uh, at that point this kind of thing i've already told that categories i've already told to you at that point that karma adhikar according to the karma adhikar the whatever rules and regulations i have need to follow that rules and regulations i need to follow i have to bind myself under those rules and regulation when that kind of unnat adhikar that topmost adhikar i'll get then i'll get established in the topmost adhikar that varnashram dharma nishta slowly steadily by following that that nirved state automatically nirved is coming inside me then all kind of vishaya actually all temporary then kind of topmost platform that will get inside the heart of all the jeevas that is an automatic proce- procedure then uh, whatever karma nishta i have done for so much days definitely going to get removed i have already just discussed it i'll just uh, discuss it tomorrow as well because up to day actually i can't discuss it today you just be careful what i'm speaking on this point what i'm speaking that when you will getting the topmost adhikar after getting the topmost adhikar if he'll be speaking that uh, before that i used to do that before i it is very much important to do so this is actually coming in the category of niyamagraha you understand what i'm speaking at that point he is getting the karma adhikar and when he is getting the automatically is getting the topmost platform that topmost as when you already getting that then why actually uh, out of my biasness if i try to do some if i if i am going to show some extra you know mood that is very much to, this i have to do that will come in the category of niyamagra you understand what i am speaking whether he has already got that topmost platform that previous platform he just need to do perform the previous platform that is niyamagra he don't need to perform that if he not be doing there no kind of dosha will be coming i used to do this before okay you must have do now you have actually just left that so you just need to understand this point so all these rules and regulation just by showing these kind of agrah towards these kinds of rules and regulation then according there you will be following that more agrah then it will come in the category of niyam agrah up till this point i'll be just uh, giving rest up till this point tomorrow i'll be thinking that what to do tomorrow i'll be discussing what are all things i have to discuss so very actually topmost in depth analysis is there in this way of gurudev always used to speak gurudev always used to speak each and every time those persons in their life 
those persons in their life they haven't have established sanatan shiksha have just upadesh amrit they have understood they have understood jav dharma and man shiksha they have understood no father of the whole material world can just touch him upadesh amrit has so much in depth analysis you can't even imagine about this so much vichar is there and this kind of vichar if it is not at all coming inside our heart then how we can do bhajan then automatic all uh, reverse one opposite will be do how we will get that guidance upadesh amrit will be getting the guidance by man shiksha will be getting guidance by chaitanya shiksha amrit will be getting upadesh amrit will be getting the guidance Uh, you will getting a guidance from ujwal you know just like foolish just like duff and dumb you will be getting tavat brahma katham vimukti padavi tavat na tikti bhavet tavat chapi bisinkhala tamayati na lok bid sthiti tavat shastra vidam mitaha kalakalo nana bahir vatmasu si chaitanya padam buj priya jan javat na diggacharah मान छकल्पतरुष के पास पतितानु पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो नमः